Hey guys, welcome back to Paracord Planet. Today we're gonna to be making posable paracord pals. This is actually one of the first tutorials that we ever did on our website a long, long time ago. This tutorial is so old that we had to go to the Wayback Machine or the internet archive of our site to find this tutorial. We found that this one was actually based on another tutorial on Instructable's website. He had turned them into green army men, but we're gonna be turning these into ninjas. And this is hopefully the first in a series, so if you have any other ideas of paracord pals that we should make, definitely let us know down in the comments. So with that, let's get started. The paracord length requirements for this are gonna depend somewhat on how you make it. The original on the Instructables and on our old website used cordless paracord. And that looks about like this. This was kind of my first test one. But today I'm gonna to be using just regular 550 paracord. So the measurements that I give you are for this one. For a ninja, we're gonna need about 10 feet of black 550 paracord about one foot of red or whatever color the bandana headband is gonna be, and then about 20 to 22 inches of craft cord. I'm using 18 gauge, but that's not super important. And then for tools, a fid is really gonna help us out. That's just gonna get our cord through some tight places, and of course, a pliers for our craft wire. So after you have your wire cut, we're just gonna take our pliers and bend one end of that, and that's just you know about a pliers width and bend it a full 180, just about like this, and then we'll flatten that with the pliers. Our goal here is to not have any sharp edges on the end so that we can thread this through our paracord. After that's done, we wanna cut our black paracord into two sections, one that's six feet and another that's four feet. And we're gonna be working with the six foot section first. We wanna take one end and pull the inner strands out a little ways. And we'll take that end of the wire that we just folded over and bring that down through. And this is a little bit tricky because our wire is shorter than our paracord. We want our wire to be positioned at the middle of this six foot section. So once we get it past the end, we'll shove it down as far as we can here. Then we'll have to kind of shuffle it along. And first we will want to grab the end here and either tie that in a knot or hold onto it with your fingers until we get that cord in. Otherwise it's gonna slip down into the cord. Again, once that wire is past the end, I find it best to tie a knot. That way our inner strands can slide in. So as you're doing this, make sure that you don't go too far because it's harder to push that wire back the other direction because we don't have a nice soft end on that one. But once you find the middle, so the end of both of our wires should bring us to equal ends down here. Once you've got that, find the middle of your wire, just kind of loosely fold it in half, and here we're going to form our head. So just loop it around like this until you have about an inch or inch and a half wide head. Next, we're gonna make the arms and that'll be about an inch and a half long. And fold it back on itself like that and we'll do the same on the other side. Then of course, we've got the body, so bend those back down straight. And the whole body is gonna be about two and a half inches long from the arms. At this point, you should be coming to the end of your wire. Mine breaks right at where it comes up, back to about the arms. And as long as it gets past our waist and doesn't go past his shoulders, we're looking good. So we'll set that one out of the way, bend up our other leg towards the inside again. And at this point, you want a little bit of space in between the two pieces of your arms and legs. We're gonna be weaving a fishtail through those. So now with our cord back up towards the top, we're gonna to bring one cord around each shoulder and then cross it over his chest like this. And then we'll begin a fishtail for the main body. First, we just wanna tighten this down pretty well. I'm just gonna spread the, the two sides of the body apart a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Bring the cord around the edge and then up through the middle as it goes to the other side. Then we'll grab the other cord and do the same. Hooking underneath that armpit, 
up through the middle and over to the other side. And how I like to do the fishtail is to keep both cords on the same side. So I'm going to bring that one back to the left and we'll just start from there each time. So we'll take that upper cord underneath, up through the middle, and then back to the left, underneath, up through the middle. And now this other one is our upper cord and we'll do the same thing. We'll do a couple more instances of that until we're about halfway down our length here. So here I've gone about halfway, or maybe a little bit less, as we're going to fold up the ends for feet once we weave them. So with one cord going out to each side now, instead of them both ending on the same side like we were doing while weaving, I'm going to take the right one and bring it down through our right leg. Now we're just going to be doing the same thing, but in two separate weaves. So this one's going to be doing a fishtail through this leg and likewise on the left. At this point, it's also helpful if you put on your fid. Once we get to the end, we're going to be dealing with some pretty tight spaces there. All right, now that our ninja's baggy pants are done, we can cut off the ends of those cords and melt them against. And then we'll take our pliers and just at the very ends, we'll bend these up for feet. Next, we're gonna take that four foot piece and find the middle of it. And we're gonna start at the top of his head. Just thread it through once. And if you have a binder clip or something, you can clamp down one side while we're working with the other. But just hold that down or even tie it around an arm to keep some tension on it. And then we're just going to wrap around his head this way and then do this arm. So once we finish that side of the head, we just want to make sure that we minimize the gaps in between our wraps. Bring this cord to the front and do that same fishtail weave on that left arm. Once we finish that, we'll do the same thing on the right. Now our ninja is almost done. We just have that bandana to add. So on our one foot of red cord, I am going to take the core out of that. So we'll take that piece and put it behind the head. And then I'm gonna wrap this right side through once just to keep it in place. We can kind of keep our other cord over the top of that. Just so it looks like a single wrap. And then on this end, we're gonna bring the one that's behind through here. And that kind of anchors down our other one. Now we'll just tie this in a simple overhand knot. And then cut those tails to whatever length you want. And there we go. So if any of you have followed along and made a version of this for yourself, be sure to post pictures to our Pear Corner group on Facebook or any of our other social networks. And if you have any other ideas of different action heroes to make out of our posable paracord pals, definitely let us know in the comments. We'll put a link down in the description to where you can find all the materials that you need for this project. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you next time.